welcome back episode 16 all right so wait let me see do i have any umbral ash that i find nope but we did however hold on did i the scroll uh, no promise to Pyromancy, uh, I already gave everything to what's her name. All right, let's give this tome to her and let's see what we learn. Yeah, give her a oh, divine tome. You've brought me a braille divine tome. Now I can tell new tales of miracles. Tales of the greater miracles can be quite the epics. What fun we will have. <laughs> and she teaches, um, I think, what? Magic barrier and blessed weapon. Yeah. yeah. All right. Have a pleasant journey, champion. And I think that's it. Oh, wait, 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 wait! I gotta show you what the Dragon Slayer armor soul can give you. Pretty much, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you already guessed that it's his, it's his axe. His oh, axe is all right. I don't use it like that, so I can't really. So you get either his um great shield or you can get his uh axe. It's uh, here we go. This axe. On a very high level character like my 400, you can get a total of uh, like, what, 800 AR? Like, I already got it. Oh. Come on. Shit. Never mind then. Uh, that is pretty much it. Um, yeah. That is it. I don't think there's anything else in Filing Shrine I need to show you guys, because after we go to the Grand Archives, we are going to be pretty much done with the game. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, all I have to do is set the um, slain Lords of Cinder's heads on top of the thrones, and we'll be we'll be done. Well, that or until I do the DLC. Then I will officially be done with the campaign, but then I'll be doing a DLC. Oh, all right. See you guys at the Grand Archives. So, from Dragon Slayer Armor's Bonfire and keep going straight. But wait, hold on a second. I think there's some. Uh, is it? Oh, there is. Titanite chunk right there. <laughs> I. I never think there will be. Well. Okay, never mind. Uh, that that again that always pisses me off. You think there'll be something in this wide open area and then there's nothing. That's something Dark Souls 3 and I think a lot of other Souls games probably have in common is that they always have these big open spaces and then there's nothing down there near them. Except for right there. There was a Titanite chunk right there. But anyway, like I said, from Dragon's Hair Armor's Bonfire, down this way you will be at the Grand Archive. <laughs> Or the entrance of Grand Archives, at least. Pick up this, get the Grand Archives key, and the Goddard Twin Swords. Well, it's actually the Godhart Twin Swords, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna let you, uh... I mean, Godhart Twin Swords? Really? Oh, yeah, oh, and his body. Yeah. Funny how he was carrying the, uh... The Goddard Twin Swords, and... Here he has the only Kiryu of Adachi and a bow. Well, he, he, uh, yeah, I don't know. They, can you see the katanas, but then there you got the little sword, dual wielding swords. Um, anyway, with the Grand Archives key, you can pretty much, of course, open the door, but, uh, oh, two little notes you should write down. Um, note number one, when you, uh, open the door is when you can actually start summoning people. I know think there's anybody here at all i mean not at this time at least but and note number two you would have to beat aldrich the devourer of gods to get past the doors even if you have the key you would still have to um beat aldrich to come through here so there's pretty much that uh also then yeah, at first let me slap on tears of denial and slap on that lightning blade Oh, how I miss calling this on my blade. Because you're going to run into a little mini boss. Oh, you little bastard. Nope. Hold on a second. 
Usually you can kill him right here and now when you uh, uh There we go. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Well and anyway, let's go ahead and explore around real quick. Also, this area is home to thralls and candle. A lot a lot of thralls, mostly thralls. But half the time you'll be running into those little bastards right there. They're pretty much all over the place in this goddamn game. They're, they they can never stay in one specific area. Oh, and here's a crystal guy. Come here, you little There we go. Expect to find a lot of them, of course. Uh the one thing about the beginning part of this area is that when you invade, I don't think there's any Pacific way back to the beginning because when you invade here you spawn like at the very far back, but That's just me. I think there is a way to get Over there, but over oh, back to the beginning, but I could never find it um, All right, I don't have any Pacific good uh, I don't have a good magic defense shield I'm like not like I need it, but it would always be good to have one and here's our first encounter with the Kendall guy thing, whatever the hell this is. Um, they have a couple of specific attacks. They have like the candle wax that can toss you to pretty much freeze your place. And he just walked right into that backstab. Holy shit. Um, they can attack, they can pretty much hit you with their candlesticks, but I mean, even in high new game, it doesn't do too much damage. Also, in the beginning part of this area, if you pull the levers, which we'll be getting to at the very top, of the Grand Archives, you can actually come back down here and get a Titanite site, which I'll be showing off soon. And another note. Let's see, there's that attack. There's the Candle Wax, easy to dodge. Another whack with the I'm trying to backstab, but of course the backstab is... Ugh. Anyway, dip your head into this wax. Why, you might ask? Well, you'll see pretty soon. Huh. I don't know why the wax would specifically go for that little headpiece, but I mean, you think it would match your helmet, but it's whatever. So why do we need the candle wax? Well, I'm about to show you right now. There's two crystal geckos here. I think if I'm fast enough, I can get both of them. That right there. If I didn't have the candle wax, the, well, first, let me tell you first. Those are cursed hands. They pretty much deal cursed damage to you. And if I didn't have the wax on my head, they would have been dealing a lot of curse damage to me. And I would probably be petrified. There's a soul of a venerable hand right there. But where is the lever? Where's the lever? I think it's up here. Right, no, 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 no. It's over here. Hold on. Oh, there, there it is. Uh, pull this lever and it will open up a secret passageway to right over here. And you'll get in, well, a very reliable old school pyromancy that was combined with a lot of buffs and high AR dealing with. This, this is a, okay, it's not. Here's the witch's locks. I don't use whips, so if you, if you use whips, then that's just you. Power within. I have not actually ever used power within in Dark Souls 3. Um, I used to use it a lot in Dark Souls 1. I think it was in Dark Souls 2. I'll have to replay that to see. Over here, you'll find a candle wax jackass. And cursed hands. Tight night scales. And another candle wax asshole. Over here, I think there's a tight night. Twinkle tight night? No, tight night chunk. Okay. Um, Kick down this. And that's, that's a little bit of a shortcut. Oh, there's a jackass mage mini boss. Oh shit. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, give me a break. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. I kick when I don't want to kick. I hate that. That really does mess me up in a lot of PvP. Anyway, here's the first lever you need to pull. I think you need to pull. Thank you. Thank you, invincibility frames. Up here is a bunch of walls and another wax pool to help you not get cursed. 
asshole for all. Titanite chunk. A lot of Titanite chunks in this area. Go ahead and dip my head into that. And refresh it. I think that refreshes it. I think it probably just, it might add in. Add on, uh, add on a little bit is what I'm trying to say. Okay. I can't wait to kill that damn thing. All I need is like two swings of heavy. Oh, it didn't refresh it. Okay, I'm going to go back up there. That's stupid. Oh, I was about to say, is that just... Now we can move on to the Grand Archives. This, this area this area used to give me a big headache, but I mean, I don't know why. I didn't have any trouble with the Grand Archives. Ithril Dungeon, God damn it! You sound very annoying, you know that. Nope, ah, there's the wax. And he drops. Ah, there we go, the Crystal Scroll. That's the last scroll we need to give to, um, Oh god, I forgot his name. Uh, oh, I, I forgot. It starts with a O. Actually, oh. Starting to see why I was very annoyed by this area. Thralls and wax figure guys. Ow! Backstab. This place just fuels my hatred for mages. I mean. I don't think I've ever used magic in Dark Souls. Well, since the Dark Souls series first came out. Okay, double kill, cool. I only use magic in Demon Souls, really. That's like the only time I ever used magic, and ever since then, well, I tried to use magic for like uh, Dark Souls one, but I never got used to it at all. I mean, Demon Souls was one magic, but simple. But anyway, through here, you run into this guy. Now, if you kill this Outrider Knight, you will, act, you will actually get his armor set. So let's go ahead and kill him right quick. Oh, God. Ugh. Ah, he missed. Okay, that was not very smart. I have no stamina. Oh. Come on, big boy. Go for them heavy attacks. A lot of damage. Nope. Ah, you see them rolling skills right there? Yeah. And we have the Outrider Helm. Yeah, you pretty, you pretty much just see all the sets right there. And right here we have the Soul Stream. Pretty much the Kamehameha way in Dark Souls 3. Uh, honestly, that attack is only... It's good for PvE. PvP... Nah, I mean, you, you see it coming like a mile away. So there's, I mean, there's really no point in using it in PvP. But anyway, ladders are for suckers. Especially at the cat's room. Come over here, you got a shivering stone. And this way right here is a pointless area. Well, not area, a pointless little part because you kill that guy, I think you get like a Titanite chunk. But then again, there's nothing else in there. Just. He's just there to be there. And we are actually missing something. Hold on, let me go back up. I'm gonna stuff wear it off. There's another lever I need to pull in order to. Oh! Titanite's nice gone. Our books. Anyway, come down right here. You'll get a Titanite scale up that little spot. And. Mm, that nerfed fall damage. Let me tell you, the cat's ring, uh, it's, it's crazy, honestly. Like, I mean, it was just meh, Dark Souls. I don't think it wasn't Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls 2, it was all right. But here it's just, it nerfs, com it completely nerfs all fall damage. Like, you get, it's crazy. Also, I didn't do what's her name's quest line. I think I probably forgot, or just, I just didn't know where her summon sign was. I think it's only in Ithril. The Boral Valley. Um, ah, yeah, you only need... Yeah, you only need one. You only need one lever to be pulled. Make sure it's not a minute. Because you can't forget. Yep, tight nice slab. There you go. And over here... Um, we'll get to that in a minute.
Uh, I think there is no other. Oh no, there's a different. There's a part spot I'm supposed to jump. Oh, it's over here. It's over here. Right, right, right. It's over here. And jump down from right here. And just in case, I'm going to show you guys where to. Right here. Let's go, Crystal Gecko. Kill him. Get two Titanite scales. And there's this guy. Now, if I had a great sword. Oh, yeah, really? There we go. Yeah, fuck your great shield, pal. You and your turtle and shit. Oh, tight, nice, sharp. Yeah, the thing about. Another thing about great shields, that's something else I also stopped using when Dark Souls 1 came around. It just. I just grew away from it. If, now, if they were cool great shields, yeah, I would probably use them just because, just because they looked cool. But here in Dark Souls, it's just, man. Look at the purple flame shield in Demon Souls. I love that great shield. I, I loved it to death. It helped me in the flame worker boss fight and everything. All right, I'm going to edit, edit this part out right here. All right, so moving on. We come up here, we'll find a little mini shortcut. Right here, take this elevator down. You go to a hidden door, pull that lever, and you'll be pretty much back around the beginning a little bit. I mean, it's good enough to be a shortcut, but um, I guess the other shortcut is superior to this one. See, there's like right there. Takes you back to the beginning a little bit, but not too much. I mean, it's good enough, but you know, the other shortcut is better besides that one. So after going through this, we will be going to the second half of the Grand Archive. Uh, it looks like Lotric Castle, but... Oh. See, right here, I really wish I had the wax. I should have actually went back and put some more wax on this one. Items. Over here, you'll find a Titanite scale. I think like three or two. Three. There we go. Um, I don't think there's anything in here worth getting. Well, there's that over there. Uh, soul of a great champion. Okay, there's... Oh, my God. Out of the way, you filthy wax mage bastard. I'm going to get this guy quick. Get that. I think... Oh, refined gem and something tight night? Damn. Flesh bite ring. Uh, Oh my god, that bar is going up quickly. Mm. Astonishing. Just it's astonishing, honestly. Okay, now we're at the second half of this area. Uh, I wonder if we'll see any. I know he's around here somewhere. Pretty much the gargoyles will start popping up left and right. No, he's going to come out from over there when I picked up that item. Uh, do I need the buff for this? Yeah, no, it's just... Yep, there he is. Side night jump. Uh, uh, still got the more damage, bitch. You know, nope. Mm. Oh, come on. Whatever. I swear to God, I, I never bothered kicking. Did that really just like break away from this guarding? Huh. Oh, and there's some more areas down there we could probably explore, I guess. I mean, I do show off all parts of the area. I'm just going to go pick up. Uh, now, if they attack me. Okay. Exhibit A of why I love great swords. Crowd control is amazing. Oh, whatever. Go ahead and heal because these these are not fucking. Nope. 
Get that back there. Uh, what is down here, you might be thinking? Uh, I, I don't remember. I think there's some stuff over here. I never bothered looking around here. There's probably nothing over here at all. So, let's see. Yeah, nothing. Miyazaki, what is wrong with you? Why do you always have areas so large, but then don't put shit in it? Oh, there's, there's some stuff over here I know for sure. There's a little small light you can sit here and just... No, not that. I'm going to say this. Just sit here, just a little light and just you know, praise the sun. Whatever. It found a little hollow gem, and I don't... Okay, that was also six axes. Ah, there's an item over here. And there's a logic knight. Yeah, a little tight match. So I guess there is some good stuff in here. I mean, you just think like, you know, special type of items. Something right there. Yeah, how do I get back up, though? I don't think I... Huh. I guess just keep going this way. I think it actually takes you to the, uh... Oh, that is so... Really? Hold on. No, this has got to be a joke. Damn. I am not going to make that. I might. I might. Okay, cool. <laughs> Please tell me it's... Oh, no. Fuck. Gray rat. I did not. I didn't. I didn't want to. <sighs> fuck. Rip gray rat. Right now we can't wipe those tears. We gotta keep moving. You bitch ass is about to flop the damn map, fucker. Fuck you, you. Oh, fuck. All right, now you're about to get it. Long sword style. Oh, can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Nope. I tried to guard, but you did. I think he actually tr drops the uh, spear, or I think you have to find it. I don't know. You could take this way and fight a logic knight instead of a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, gargoyles. But over here, you got you got two beautiful. And I think he just falls. I think I can still get him. Yep. Yeah, never mind. I'm not going back down there. It's just a waste of time. All right. I think that's just one gargoyle. Yep, one of them. I could take that way, but you know what? I have to show off everything. I even all the enemies. Okay, I'm being dumb. All right, you know what? Waste enough time right there. I'm gonna go ahead and just take a jump for it. Well, I didn't have to jump, I could just walk. I mean, there's nothing else in that path, just two gargoyles. But here's a little shortcut you can take. And yes, we're going up to the Raptors pretty soon. I forgot you can't parry too much. But even you're blocking. No, 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 you're about to go sky high. Crystal is still just okay. Oh, was that you, you little bastard? Yeah, don't blame me for your freaking brother's death. All right. And I don't know why they have a candle pool right here. I mean, you really don't need it at all at this point in time in the game. Or at the area. Uh, might, might. Yeah, I am. See, here's the. This is what happens when they completely cover you in wax. And here's an undead bone shark. And hold on. Right here, you find an ember. And I, I think I actually mixed an item back over there. Hold on. And here's another shortcut to like back up here. Even though you really don't need it once you get the. Uh, Shortcut after this point right here. Yeah, you know what? It's just probably just a soul. 
And over here, you will find three PC, PCs, NPCs. Uh, Faram, the Knight, a Weeaboo, and a Mage, bitch. We're going to only fight one of these guys. We're not going to bother trying to fight all three of them. Of course, why do you want to try and fight all three of them? Take all that. Really? Get your little... <sighs> Bruh. Come on, Faron. Fuck you. Check Val City. Fuck you. Oh my god. No! I think that's rec count 10. I'll have to watch the other videos and see. Okay. Uh, fuck that. That, that may be real salty. Get your stupid bitch ass down here and fight me like a fucking man. Oh, god damn it. It's only got him and that asshole. Oh, what the fuck? Damn it. Oh my God. Fuck you. Oh, that was a fail, Perry. Hmm. <laughs> Thank guy doesn't do the follow up. Like most people, who, oh my! <sighs> the gang squad boss. Fuck out of here! How'd it feel to fly the first time, you bitch? Anyway, of course. Kill him. You get the only Kiri Ubadachi. Get that backstab. Take it. Now go fly. And you get a shitty ass Sage's Crystal Staff. And right here you get the Golden Wing Crest Shield. Alright. Up here you get the Soul of a Great Champion. And like I said earlier, up here is pretty much the better shortcut you could say. I mean, the other shortcut works too. And just like a couple of like, a couple of steps and you'll be like right back over to where you were earlier. But then again, this one is like right by the bonfire. And here are a couple of signs right here. I'm gonna go ahead and rest in the bonfire right quick. And now we go to the third half. I mean, I wouldn't call it the third half of the area. I mean, this, I mean, this we're still in the second half. I think there's only like two halves, it's like the whole library section, and then the upper part of the, um, the ceiling of the castle. A little lax right there. And we could go down this way or go up that way. Hold on. Wait, uh, yeah. We could go up that way, but we're actually going to go up here and get ourselves a Titanite Slap. Before we do, let's go around here and pick up a Soul of a Champion or a Soul of a Hero, probably. Soul of a Champion. Go around. And... You have to kill those three golden wing knights to get a titanite slab. Do I dare walk around here and see if there's any items? Okay, no, it's just like the... I could go over this way. I mean, when it's still... Nah, it's best just to do the old fashion style. Alright, when you walk up, immediately go to the left. Because the other two will pretty much go over there, while only one falls right here. Make sure not to aggro the other one. You know, just start pin him in his... Or his die. Mm, it's a good thing I blocked at least some of that. And one down, two to go. Alright, let's 
see if we can get this one done. Backstab. Oh, give me a break, Dark Souls 3. The other one's over here. Come on. Nope. Okay, yes. Well, yes for you, but no. No for me. Okay. Got, I get it. You really know how to use that lance. Tracking one. Look, man. All right, here we go. Believe it or not, this one's the most annoying one to deal with. It's freaking twin hammers, man. Axes, I mean, axes. Mm. Well, only if you run away from them, I guess. And he drops a titanite slab, and we all get large titanite shards. All right, before we go anywhere else, I'm going to go up here and you will find a ring. If you want to go out and get all the rings in the game and get that trophy, here's one right here. Also, there is a ring of still protection in um, Ars Dragon Peak as well. Just so you guys know, since I didn't really, uh, well, the recording for that one is gone. So I just want to go ahead and tell you, what ring is this again? What was the... Oh, this is actually, I didn't bother picking up. The Hunter's Ring, or the Bloodborne Ring. It gives you five points in dexterity, pretty much. And I don't think there's anything else around here. I think this dude got chased. Damn. He got chased pretty... What the fuck's supposed to be in here? Miyazaki, again. Nothing. A area, a little small room, and there's nothing in it. Come on. And all the way down here, you will find a Estus shard. I think by this point, you pretty much maxed out all Estus. I think I think you probably had enough to um, max out all stuff I mean, in terms of um, level of flask or number of flasks you can hold. I think about this point in the game. I think so, I believe. Anyway, you go in here. You be careful where you fall. Make sure you fall right on top of the rafter find a bird's cage I don't really know what was in here I don't know well, here's the opening and you will find the uh, we knights ability miracle the divine pillars of light uh in terms of uses usage is not really all that good I never really get good damage out of it even with 60 faith on my high-level character I don't get much damage out of it it's not really viable in PvE or PvP. It leaves you open pretty well. It depends, really. But that's just my experiences with uh, Miracle. Anyway, uh, so a couple of items over here and a... Where's the worm? Okay, let me not stand still like an idiot and get hit while I'm trying to figure out something. Oh, a blessed gem. Cool, I need that. Oh, he's right there. Okay. I think there's another item, like right over. Let's go ahead and down. Yeah, there's an item right over there. But first, I'm gonna kill this thing. Oh, there's a, there's a ladder. I guess he had a nice fall, right? Okay, let me. That's just. Okay. Anyway, come over here, and I don't know what this item. I think it's an amber, probably. No, the Sage's Ring plus one. Uh, yeah, that's where you get the Sage's Ring plus one. Oh, by the way, I don't know if um, I have it already explained this before, but in New Game plus two, you can also get the uh, plus two versions of each ring. So if you want to go try and like uh, level up, well, get the trophy for getting all rings in the game, you have to go to New Game plus as well. So it's another thing I really like about Dark Souls Three. It makes you, it makes giving you more stuff. It makes you pretty much play the game again. If you want to max out, of course. Alright, there's two chests right here. Get Divine Blessing. I'm gonna go on a limb and say this is probably the um, 
divine blessing. I don't know. Three twinkling side nights. All right. Uh, and I think this takes me back to. Yep, it pretty much takes me back to the beginning. Or oh, oh, this little part. All right, cutting time. All right, now with oh tears, right? Can't believe I keep I can't I can't believe I keep forgetting to put on the most important miracle. So yeah, this part right here, I don't know about you guys, but it really reminds me of Demon Souls for some reason. Like like the front. I'm trying to talk here, please. It reminds me pretty much like the whole barricades, the enemies and the little armored thralls and stuff. Not thralls at all. I think in Demon Souls, those enemies in um, the first part of Baltari are, like, are called Draglings. I believe they were called. But yeah, this, it really reminds me of Demon Souls. Oh, stamina. God damn it. Okay, I need to go. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my uh, Dragon. Oh, actually, no. Later. Oh, yeah. Those guys. Go ahead and see if I can take these two out. There we go. Mm. Oh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. You sit there and you watch that parry. No, oh, no, not that. You see that, didn't you? Turtle and little bastards. I was trying to kick, but. I. I kick, but I don't get a kick. I swing, but I don't know. It's, just, it, 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 it's a weird, weird pattern. It happens in most of Dark Souls players. In, well, in Dark Souls 3, I would say. And up here, you find more knights. You get a, two spear knights and one big greatsword wielding one. Yay! Low ground for the win. Again? Yay! Low ground for the win. That's all you have to do right there. Yeah, I mean, you're not, you're not better at me than that. Oh, nice drop. Tight night chunk. And large tight oh, tight was that large tight night chunk or large tight night shard? Anyway, oh by the way, two tight night slabs in the area. I forgot. To, I think I told you in the last episode that if you um, activate this elevator, you'll go down and you'll be pretty much be at Lotra Castle, well the the below part of it. And all you need to do is activate this la elevator, hop off. Activate again. Wait for the second elevator to come up. Treasure head, therefore try down. Yeah, pretty much. Go ahead and get two. And then we head down. Honestly, I did not know about this. How many Titanites? I got three Titanites left out of this today. And a blessed gem. I'm gonna put that on my uh level, well, about to be probably level 10 Cestus. And you get a Titanite slab. And now I'm going to cut this part out and go all the way back up to Lodge Castle. Here. For this... I just realized something. I... I'm about to get done with my Dark Souls 3 Let's Play in probably 17 parts. Well, for this Let's Play. The regular walkthrough. Episode 16, and then the next one will be the last one. Interesting. I'm probably going to use a short sword for this one. I need my stamina. Go ahead and okay, grass crest shield on. Go ahead and equip my blossoms. All right, tips for this boss fight. Try and dodge as much as possible. Watch out for his teleporting. Don't get hit by his charge attack. You will see in this let's go in this part right here. Oh dear. Another dogged contender. Welcome 
unkindled one, purloiner of cinders. Mind you, the mantle of Lord interests me none. The fire-linking curse, the legacy of Lords, let it all fade into nothing. You've done quite enough. Now have your rest. Sorry about that, I was on. I had a video pull up. Alright. This is phase one. Uh, yeah, you can see that Logic Knight is pretty much on his knees. He gets up and walks sometime, but... And see, there's the teleporter. And there's the charge attack I was talking about. It does a lot of damage, too. Be careful. Other than that, just pretty much dodge well. Try not to get hit as much. And this first phase will be no problem. Mm. In his second phase, dealing with Lotric is going to be even easier because he takes a lot more damage than he is now in his second phase, which you'll see if I don't get fucked up. Alright, here we go. Yeah. So we now enter the second phase of um, Twin Princess boss fight. As you can see, he's the younger prince, the older prince. I'll, I'll see when I get to the health bar. All right, older prince. Okay, you're the, okay, I was right, the younger prince. Well, uh, what's not right? But anyway, as you can see, he, the elder prince takes a lot more damage than he usually did. Oh. Mm. oh my god. Oh my god. Heal, 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 heal. Uh, oh my god. Uh, lost my bearings right there a bit. Oh my god. You see, the teleport is a big issue right now. Hold on. Mm, pillars for the win. Alright, trying to recast tears, but I don't trust myself without it. Yeah, yeah I'm kind of holding on to tears, but I know. Right, thank God you only did that. Alright, cool. we're good to go. We're good to go. Alright. As you can see, the main issue right now is the teleporting. And you can also, you don't have to knock him down. You could take out the younger prince. Even with the, uh, doubt dealing with the elder prince. Well, actually, no, I can't. Ow. Heal. Alright, that's just gone. Switch to the pawn. Mmm, playing kind of shitty now, I know. Could have gone by a lot quicker if I didn't get fucked up. Uh, locking on is also a very good strategy. And now we can deal with it. Uh, hit as much as you can. Watch out for Wrath of Gods. Okay, now I'm hitting him. I was, I was hitting him before, only doing 200 damage. Pillar for the win again. 
Yeah, we can pretty much just go after the younger prince now. Oh, not yet. Another thing that's annoying, it starts to just go for those big ass, heavy ass swings. That little combo thing going on there, man. Mmm, that swing, I don't know why it did it. But I am not gonna complain about it. I'm trying to go for the younger prince. Yeah, there we go. Dead. Those swings are ridiculous. That's what really got me a lot of those, like roll catches. So yeah, take out the younger prince and pretty much the entire boss fight is over. You don't have to go for the um, elder prince so much. But now we have the final Lord Ascender head. We can go back to Firelink Shrine and fight the final boss So once we place all the heads on the throne. So... The next video will pretty much be the final part to this Let's Play of Dark Souls 3. Praise that sun. See you in the next one.